When we are asked to solve a quadratic equation by factoring, one of the factoring methods we might need to use is the simple trinomial method. Both of these examples require this method. In the example on the left, I define my a, b, and c, and I ask the question, what two numbers multiply to give c and add to give b? In this case, what two numbers multiply to give 8 and add to give 6? Those two numbers are 4 and 2. So my expression factors as x plus 4 times x plus 2 equals 0. I do the split. I make each of these binomials equal to 0. And then I isolate x. My answer is x equals negative 4 or x equals negative 2. This means that the two roots of this quadratic equation are negative 4 and negative 2. In the example on the right, I define my a, b, and c, and I ask the question, what two numbers multiply to give 1 and add to give negative 2? They are negative 1 and negative 1. I factor my expression, and I get the same binomial repeated twice. Doing the split, making the binomials equal to 0, gives the same answer. That tells me that this quadratic equation has only one root, or zero, or x-intercept, and it is at x equals one. This is how we use the simple trinomial factoring method to solve a quadratic equation. When we are asked to solve a quadratic equation by factoring, one of the factoring methods we have to use is the complex trinomial method. Both of these examples require this method. In the example on the left, I define my a, b, and c, and my a, c. And I ask the question, what two numbers multiply to give a, c, and add to give b? In this case, what two numbers multiply to give negative 12 and add to give 4? Those numbers are 6 and negative 2. So I rewrite my expression including those numbers as the middle term, break up the bracket, do common factor with the first two terms, and common factor with the last two terms, and I end up getting these as my factors. Next I do the split, make each binomial equal to zero, and isolate x. My answer is x equals one half or x equals negative three halves, and that means that the roots, the zeros, or x-intercepts of this quadratic equation are at 1 half and negative 3 halves. In the example on the right, I define my a, b, and c, and my a, c. I ask the question, what two numbers multiply to give 125 in the case and add to give negative 30? And those numbers are negative 5 and negative 25. I replace the middle term with those two numbers, break up the bracket, do common factor with the first half and the second half, and I end up with these as my factors. 5x minus 25 can be further factored, but I don't have to do this. I just have to make each binomial equal to zero, doing the split, and then solve for x in each case. I get x equals 5 or x equals 1. So the roots of this quadratic equation are 5 and 1. 